Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are installing this lace frontal wig from HairVV.com completely gluelessly. I'll show you guys start to finish how I did this and I am not using a ball cap. If you're interested in seeing how I did this install completely glueless, definitely continue watching. Here is how the wig initially came packaged in this beautiful luxurious box. It came with instructions, an information pamphlet, a true scalp tape that I ended up not using. Along with this, there was a thank you card and an exclusive membership information card as well. Along with the information pamphlet and all the loads of goodies that come with their wig, you also get a return service card just in case if the wig is not to your liking. Now let's get into the actual unit. I did order a 13 by 6 lace frontal HD clear lace wig. This is a 22 inch length unit. It came pre-curled, the hairline came pre-plugged, the knots were pre-bleached, and there was an adjustable elastic band attached inside of the unit. I did order a size large lace frontal wig because a lot of the times regular wigs like regular lace frontal wigs tend to not fit my head so I'm glad that Hair VV offers large cap wigs because this definitely worked in my favor. Here is how the hair initially looked. As I said, it was already pre-curled and ready to wear. So all I had to do was braid my hair. I'm showing you all that I'll be using a brown cap to do this wig install. Of course, I have to clean my hairline because I'll be using my lace gel, which you can use to lay your lace for daily wear, but I'll be using it to lay down my edges because it's safe for your hair. It's safe to use on your hairline. There's no hair loss that comes from using this lace gel. And I want to pretty much slick back my hair um, because I'll be using another type of adhesive. I won't be using glue as stated in the in the um, beginning of this video. I will not be using glue, but I will be using a different type of adhesive just to lay the lace down so here is the brown cap it is still a little light but that's okay because i will be going in with some makeup to kind of help it blend in we're not doing a ball cap and we're not using glue for this install because there is no need for it look at how this wig just sits on my hairline it did come pre-plucked. I did not do any customization to this unit whatsoever. This is literally how the wig came from HairVV.com. These mini shears really do help with cutting the lace off as they're small enough to get around the ear tab area. Mind you, this wig fit very snug on my head, so I really didn't have to cut too much of the tab for my ear. Um, I literally just had to cut like a very small amount of lace and I did trace along my hairline and cut the lace off like so just so that when it comes down to me actually installing the wig it will be very simple and easy for me to lay the lace um, before my hairline so here i am just going in with some makeup to tint that cap as you guys can see i am tinting just the cap and i'm making sure that no makeup gets back on my hairline and i did use some of that makeup on the lace itself so you guys can see right here it is tinted to match my skin tone. Going in with my hot comb just to kind of gather the hairline together. Y'all, there were no flyaways on this wig and I love that. Like the quality is definitely superb. Now here is the star of the show, my holding spray. This acts as an adhesive, but it literally comes off with just the use of water. It does not create any hair loss or anything as long as you are using it correctly so you guys see that i spray it on my skin i try not to spray it on my hair even if i do spray it on my hair like i said all i have to use is water to get it right off like it literally comes off with water so i like to use this spray for daily wear whether i'm wearing a frontal or a closure wig it definitely does the job after i do this i go in with my melt band let it melt and here are the results. I am going to go back in with a little bit of contour, my contour makeup, just to kind of combat any flashback or anything like that. And I am going to clean along my hairline where the spray kind of like um, got away. So here is how it's looking after I did that. 
clean hairline the lace is super duper laid and i am going to touch up some of the um the curls in the hair uh it did come pre-curled so i'm only going along um i'm only curling the the hair that's along my face um yeah just really curling the front of the wig uh not too much because the look that i'm going for was not really something that was too put together, which is why I didn't cut layers or anything like that in the unit. I just wanted something very loose, flowy. Um, the hair itself, like the wig itself, is already a natural density, so there was not much that I really needed to do. So I definitely was going for more so like an effortless look, something that I could do every day. Um, so yeah, just by curling the frontal pieces of hair and touching up any of the curls that I saw in the back, I just created a nice effortless loose wavy hairstyle in this wig and here is the outcome this is again a 13 by 6 22 inch 160 percent density lace frontal wig the lace is definitely giving hd lace it's super thin it was easy to blend it was easy to melt it just made this whole look just amazing like it looks so good and i'm very happy with the outcome let me know what you all think about this entire install from start to finish. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it super helpful. I'll leave the link to this wig down below in the description along with any available coupon code so that you all can save at checkout. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.